That is, of course, accidental overdoses. First, let's look at the information on the misuse of common over-the-counter medicines. Analgesics were the most common category of drugs in acute overdose in adult patients and the second most common in pediatric patients. Aspirin is widely used as an anti-inflammatory and pain reliever. It often induces gastrointestinal adverse effects, which limits its clinical use. It can have adverse effects even if it's used at low or safe doses. Despite its decreasing incidence, aspirin poisoning remains an important clinical problem involving accidental ingestion in children and intentional overdose in adults. Even though aspirin overdose nowadays is not as common, it continues to contribute to significant morbidity and mortality. NSAIDs are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, which includes ibuprofen. Side effects are usually not life-threatening unless more than 400 milligrams are ingested. Severe poisoning and death as a result of NSAID acute overdose is extremely uncommon. However, there are reports of liver, kidney, and gastrointestinal problems with acute NSAID overdose. Neurological side effects have also been reported, like drowsiness, confusion, blurred vision, or headaches. Although acetaminophen has a safer gastrointestinal intestinal profile than NSAIDs, there are probably more deaths from acetaminophen than ibuprofen. Acetaminophen overdose can cause fatal hepatotoxicity. Okay, on to the H tip. Here, hydrogen alleviates aspirin-induced gastric lesions by inhibiting oxidative stress and inflammatory reaction. This may provide a potential therapy for the adverse effects of aspirin. Here it says that hydrogen has significant therapeutic potential in acetaminophen-induced hepatotoxicity by inhibiting oxidative stress and inflammation and promoting liver regeneration. Here we see hydrogen may be safe and effective in the prevention of stomach injury due to NSAIDs. And finally here it says hydrogen therapy can reduce many kinds of cell damage due to drugs and chemicals. Now for the more severe issue concerning overdose. More than 115 Americans die every day from opioid overdose. According to the National Institute on Drug Abuse, the misuse of and addiction to opioids is a serious national crisis that affects public health as well as social and economic welfare. It is estimated that the total economic burden of prescription opioid misuse alone in the U.S. is $78.5 billion a year including the costs of health care, lost productivity, addiction treatment, and criminal justice involvement. Roughly 21 to 29 percent of patients prescribed opioids for chronic pain misuse them, and between 8 to 12 percent of them develop an opioid use disorder. Now this is an issue that needs more research, but there is some promising evidence that H2 could be very beneficial for this epidemic. This interesting study even states that hydrogen may reverse opioid-induced hyperalgesia. Hyperalgesia is a condition where a person taking opioids for pain treatment could actually become more sensitive to certain pain stimuli. The condition usually develops in response to chronic and acute opioid exposure. And obviously, this condition leads to even more of an increase in opioid usage, which in turn can lead to higher risk of accidental overdose. Another benefit of H2 for overdose can be assumed by the next and last topic.